Hello everybody, this is Nino and in this video I shall show you the first of three swarm intelligences which I have built that operate on the principle of logical triangulation. What you are presently seeing are the preparatory files from which a swarm will be constructed. The advantage of this type of artificial intelligence is that it gives you a rather intricate responses based on the pattern knowledge you supply to it. The disadvantage is that it can take hours and in some cases even days and weeks until you get a reply. So that might not be your normal everyday experiment and I regard that as my showcase of a complex system. So forgive me if it turns out to be more difficult than usually to run these three particular experiments. This first example is written in common Lisp. The next example which I shall present to you will work in a similar manner but it is written in Fortran 90. And the final example I will show you most likely at the end of this video series and it is written in Scheme and it will be a full system. Without further ado, let's look at how the swarm is operating. It is mainly driven by two scripts, namely Solo Queen and Overlord. Solo Queen is used only at the very beginning. Solo Queen establishes a swarm while there is no swarm yet. It's the first script you run. Thereafter, all interaction is done through Overlord. Overlord then really runs the Lisp system, which is basically parsing the text with the program parser to turn it into lists on which the system operates and then it uses the program examine which will be piece, part of every insect in the swarm in order to actually perform logical triangulation on the input. I shall now show you how this operates in practice. So first we run solo queen which will generate 20 insects that's it and there they go you're having pupa 1 till pupa 20 basically the cocoons if you look at any one cocoon you'll see here a link to examine that's a hard link but it saves you a bit of disk space and here having in swarm data the knowledge base that is what it looks like initially before the system has acquired any knowledge whatsoever it is just pairs of nihil dot nihil one thousand such pairs are known to each insect the rest are more or less auxiliary files not of particular interest you will need to run this whole thing on Linux just like practically any and all of my experiments. Well, let's see what it looks like to run it. You use the script overlord.sh and there we go. I can say now hail the, hail the, hail the. The funny part is it does not know anything. It does not know yet how to reply to hail the it will need to figure it out dynamically by analyzing the input. And if you look at it this way, you might say you see that each hail V is followed by some other hail V. And now I tried to find an insect which will contain information likely to fit that sort of input. Because the swarm has never been run before, and therefore has never yet encountered such input, it had no idea which 
insect to run so it forced one insect and now it cloned insect 1 to insect 20 and let insect 20 give us a response and it figured out correctly that the response should be hail D. I shall now converse with it a little more but I will periodically put you on pause because the waiting times will become a lot more considerable for the further conversation. I might for instance say it shall be my pleasure to chat with you. Most likely it will not know how to reply to that. It has no knowledge of any words so far. All right, let's see what comes out of it. So, I have conducted a little further conversation with the system. And, as you see, <laughs> it started to reply a bit. On my last sentence, it knew no reply at all. Now, it figured out the reply nothing as of now from the challenging sentence. And so on. The complexity of the system will raise with the further conversation and further insects will be cloned and adjusted to the interaction. I will now terminate this conversation by issuing empty input and show you the adjusted knowledge base. Let us go first to Pupa 20. In this cocoon you will see the first challenge reply pair where you have the hail the hail the hail the element and how the system slightly gained knowledge from this first exchange. Now, if we go two insects away from that you will now see a much changed knowledge base. Here you will see already that the reasoning has completely changed the knowledge base in quite a to quite a large extent. The system currently makes a lot of conclusions. And yeah, here again you have the nihil dot nihil, where basically, <laughs> let's not overdo it, so to say. Yeah, here you have some <laughs> further element. So basically, that's really what, what the system will do. It is going to see what patterns you give to it, perform on them a multitude of logical triangulations, which you can set in the scheme code, and then try to generate an answer. And in each case, it is going to try to find a suitable insect, and if it can't find one, it will force a choice. Then it will clone the best fit and force that best fit to answer you. And it will in each case update the knowledge base. So that is it with this first experiment. In the description of the video, you shall see where you can acquire this program. And I wish you much fun and much luck with your artificial intelligence experiments. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you will check out my other videos as well. For now, goodbye.